One Hogwarts day is 32 minutes in real life and I'm spending the next 100 days here in Hogwarts to finally achieve my dreams, get into my Hogwarts house, which is Slytherin, learn to fly so I can ditch my classes, and to become the most powerful wizard ever, literally, all in the next 100 days. Right off the bat on day one, we had the sorting hat decide what house I belong in. Why does he seem so uncomfortable on my head? Ah, uh, yeah. A bit older than the others, aren't you? Bro, what? Do I seem old? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. No clue what any of that means. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Wait, that sounds like Slytherin, right? Mm. You belong in Slytherin! Yes! Yes! Slytherin! And just like that, I completed my first goal off the list. On day two, I spawned in my common room. And you know what that means? Winter! Starting off, we got a fireplace where I burn my victims. I should stop. I should really stop. This is my mirror where I look at myself because I'm a piece of art. Stop it. Get some help. This is my bed. Why does it look better than my real life bed? This room tour got me hungry, so I'm going to steal this apple from my roommate. Don't tell them though. I decided if I want to become the most powerful wizard, I'm going to need some victims, I mean friends, to help me out. Okay, you can do this. Don't be awkward. Just go up, ask how their day is. Easy enough. A few minutes later. Do you want to be my slave to help me become the most powerful wizard ever? I mean friend, want to be best friends? Sure. I would love that. And just like that, I made my first friend, Sebastian. On day 4, I decided to chill in the Slytherin common room. Then on day 10, it finally hit me. I realized that if I want to become the world's strongest wizard, I'm gonna need a powerful wand. What do you think? <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. A few minutes later. I am very sorry, fellow student, but I have to test this wand out. And <laughs> eh, it works. Don't mind me just taking a swim. Okay, what the heck? I think I have beef with this Dobie lookalike. He won't stop trying to hurt me. I don't know why. Okay, I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna finally learn how to fly. It's been on my list for a while now, but we're finally here. Step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Oh, Ooh, got the broom. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going too fast. What the heck? How do I slow down? How do I slow down? This is where I die. Then, um, I don't know. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. This is actually really fun. Woo! Flying, yes, finally flying. And just like that, I completed my second goal off my list. For the next couple of days, I went out to make more um, friends to help me out become the most powerful wizard ever. Okay, it's time for me to go check on my slaves. Oh, I mean friends, friends. I'm gonna check up on them to see how they're doing. Okay, you guys are very bad, like very bad. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Sebastian, I'm very disappointed in you. You are my first friend, friend. You're my first friend and you are one of the worst out of everyone. So let's 1v1 right now and show you how it's done. This should be easy. Protego. Good form. Oh yeah, this is easy. Sebastian, you suck. I know. <laughs> lucky. Nothing lucky about it. This can't be your first Boom. duel. Look at that, Sebastian. That's how it's done. I hope you learned your lesson. I'm just the best. On day 42, I decided to take a little break from casting spells, so I went out and enjoyed nature. For the next couple of weeks, I have been sitting in my room thinking of new ways to become super powerful. And that's when I became friends with a Weasley. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley, 
Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Boy, if you don't... Okay, I don't know if I should trust this guy, because he's a Weasley, and Draco doesn't like the Weasleys. Red hair and a hand-me-down robe. You must be a Weasley. So that means I should not like them? I mean, he's my only hope to make a potion to make me the most powerful wizard ever. But at the same time, he's a Gryffindor, so he might stab me in the back. I mean, the challenge is about to end. We're almost at 100 days, so this is my only option and hope that I have. So I guess I have to put my trust into him. Few minutes later. That's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! my god, what are you doing? Why is there fireworks in the potion? I don't know if it's supposed to do that. Well, that was my last option to become the most powerful wizard. Yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep and hopefully just finish this challenge because I just can't do this anymore. Okay, it's very dark in here. Loomis. Look at that, guys. I definitely did that spell. It was definitely not me pressing a button on my LED light. I'm gonna go sleep now and hopefully when I wake up the challenge is over because my eyes are killing me. I feel super dizzy. I can't even tell if the camera's facing the right direction of me. I think sleeping made me more dizzy than what I was yesterday. With only 18 days remaining, I knew it was impossible to become the world's most powerful wizard. To remove all the stress in my head, I decided to go on a walk. And that's when I saw the Hogwarts castle. This was my first time actually seeing it. While taking a good look at it, I realized how much I was actually missing. The whole meaning about Hogwarts is for you to make friends and learn magic to not only protect yourself, but to also help the people around you. I was doing it all wrong this whole time. Looking back, I deeply did enjoy meeting people like Sebastian and the Weasley and everything I had done while being here. So I decided for my last couple of days here, I was going to hang out with what I am proud to call my friends and teach them the skills. I learned while being here. Not gonna lie, that was kind of cringy to say. We did it. 100 days. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my eyes. So great. Oh my god, we did it. Yes. Oh my god, I'm tired. I wanna go. Well, I guess this story comes to an end, even though I didn't become the most powerful wizard. But honestly, that seems like too much work. And I mean, after all this time, I could always go back if I wanted to. Who's gonna stop me anyways?